Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This time we are not playing Russian Fishing 4 but it's more cheaper cousin who will bring you an old pen cap and a cucumber for Christmas. The Open Fishing XL. By that I don't mean anything bad about the game, it's just the graphics. They definitely made a mistake by making bread free in this game, they should know that I'm the bait collecting bread guy. Anyways, we will be capitalizing on this later on into the video. If you like this game and have joined my Patreon, I will give away one or two Steam codes on Patreon, so join Patreon, link in the description. Alright, let's go to the dock and actually do some fishing in this game. This game's graphics are a bit odd but I actually really like them, it gives you an old vibe. Maybe it's a bit blurry and sometimes you don't understand which part of the map is water and which part is the land, but overall it's still amazing, it gives off good vibes, I like the sound effects everything. But I haven't tried fishing yet, so let's cast our rod in and actually try to catch something. I just like how simple this game is and also the bar up there. I think I know how to fight with the fish just by looking at this, you need to keep like some sort of an icon within the green area if it goes to the red you lose your fish oh actually i have something on oh wow it's moving so slowly that's fairly easy but probably because it is not a good fish but it is fighting pretty well it's not coming any closer kind of like this kind of a fighting mechanism looks very fun very visual also and gives you some sort of a challenge actually but the sound effect <laughs> not a big fan of that anyways we got the dark catfish 0.51 kilograms it's our first fish in the game a new bb and we caught it on bread which is the best part of the game because because it's free. And here it is. In the collection log, we have our dark catfish. We have to get like at least 10 different species in this episode to see all of the fish that are in the game. I think there's like 120 species overall in the game. If we get 10 or 12, that's pretty good already. That's like 10% of all of the species. I'm not sure if I can actually catch anything from this spot with bread because some places on the map are dead for some baits, as I heard. Oh, this is moving very slowly. What is that? Come on. Just give me something I can do. The icon is so slow that it's just all oh if it's going under the bridge i can't see it anymore no please please don't go under the bridge i can't see what's going on under the bridge i don't want to lose the fish even though the bait is free i do not want to lose the fish come on buddy don't go under the bridge just come closer to me but not there please by the way if you're thinking right now why am i not walking closer to the fish did you know just grab it i can't the game does not let you walk while you're really in a fish so it gives you a bit more of a challenge i guess i actually got it another dark catfish so i guess this spot is full of dark catfish at least when you use bread maybe we should oh what is that it's a ladybug that's pretty cool but i think we should get some new baits and also maybe try a new spot later on but maybe let's get some dough balls sweet corn worms leeches mealworms insects but i'm not gonna get any live baits but also we can sell these fish for a few dollars which is pretty nice also let's go on a little exploration trip i do not want the fish on the same pier the whole game there's a cool building right here in front of us and maybe there's a spot we can fish at oh look at that a snail pretty cool and there was a bee as well for a second in the frame it's another shop maybe this sells like rods and stuff oh no just bait and you can sell your fish okay this is not the shop where you can buy a new rod give me a monster fish please i want something big on the hook now still waiting oh i missed the fish i was literally too slow in this game right now to actually even hook the fish properly ah oh, my bad let's try again another cast another fish hopefully hey you like the video seems like they don't like worms at this spot so i gotta switch spots or switch baits i came a bit closer towards the land and hopefully i can actually catch something here with dough balls because i had a bite before with dough balls maybe maybe something will give me another nibble here oh yeah i have something okay this one is fighting a lot faster the slider is just moving back and forth so much quicker than with the catfish i had earlier hopefully this is a new species i would really love to see a new species almost actually lost the fish <laughs> it got pretty much the red area fully i'm not sure if it's slower now the fish got tired or it's still the same speed i just don't understand right now i'm just super focused hyper focused actually it's a white cow head catfish 0.8 one kilos and also a new pb because it's my first of these catfish pretty cool let's catch another one i caught catfish with dough balls before i dipped in the balls again and nobody wants my balls i wonder why okay i actually hooked into something just as i was complaining and this fish is actually moving even faster and is fighting a lot better so this could be a bigger fish or maybe different species i really like fishing right now in this game because you know it's the exploration phase of the game so it's not like you know everything so it's still a lot of fun it's another white cow head catfish but it's a pb it's 500 grams bigger actually than the last one. Oh, I just fell into the water. No. Let's sell the fish we just caught. So these catfish are worth actually quite a bit. 260 and 160. That's a good amount of money. I like how this looks like grass, but it's not. It's water actually. Another fish on. This one is also fighting fairly fast. Probably the strongest fish I've fought so far. As you can see, the slider is just moving back and forth so quickly. Sometimes it slows down, but before I started recording, it was moving actually even faster. 
Let's get it in. I think this is like a swamp area. It's a flatfish. 1.37 kilos. That's a big flatfish, actually. Like an actual big, big flatfish, but on a piece of corn? That is just odd. Let's try to catch something here on a worm now. Oh, look at the ducks. They look lovely. It's just me, myself, and I chilling and waiting for a bite on a worm. Actually, wait. It just happened. Also, I noticed that up top on the left, you can see the biome you're fishing in, and this is a swamp river biome. Pretty cool. That also explains why the water is green. Let's see what kind of fish this is. Come on, buddy. Just come in. It's a black owlhead catfish. So we've had three different sorts of catfish so far. Nice. Let's try to catch something on a leech. I can tell you, it did not end well. I just lost my leech within like a millisecond. But I also found out there's a shop right here. Pretty cool. And there's also like a shop music. You can buy a compass, boots, rods. Pretty neat. So this is the rod rack. Pretty cool. 30 silver for a dinosaur rod. That is a pretty cool rod to have. Imagine just going fishing with a dinosaur rod. That would be a first. These rods are really cool as well. And this is a princess rod for 30 silver. Oh, wow. Actually, wait. Now that makes me think, which one do I actually get? Do I get the dinosaur rod or do I get the princess rod? Hmm. I guess let's collect the money and uh, see which one we will get. I'm trying with the leech again and I have my eyes on the indicator like a hawk. Oh, we have something on. Okay, this is fighting a lot less like the previous fish we had. That previous fish just snapped me off within a millisecond. Like it was within a blink. I'm not even kidding. Let's see. What can we catch with a leech? It is a thick mouth bass. 1.56 kilos. That's a pretty big fish and also a new fish to the collection. That is awesome. Now it's time to catch a fish with the mealworms. So after this, I've caught pretty much a fish with every single bait in the game, which is pretty cool. What is this? Is this like a big fish? That's why the indicator is moving so slowly or is it just because it's a small fish? I have absolutely no clue. But anyway, this fish is fighting very oddly compared to the other fish I've had so far. So this has to be a new species, definitely. It's not like anything I've had before. And also, different bait. Can't forget about that. Come on, buddy. You are so close. I wish I had my net. I could just net the fish. It's a red gill. 0.3 kilos. Also new PB and new species to the collection. Awesome. I've actually managed to snag something with the insects and this fish has the zoomies. You can see it's going back and forth super quickly. I'm trying to cheese it in by just, you know, small clicks, but it doesn't even work because this fish sometimes swims so quickly to the other direction. It's a snow pike. I've actually never heard of a fish like this before, but almost three kilos. Wow. That is my biggest fish so far I've caught in the game. Back to the trusty bread we go because that thing is free and I am out of other baits. And always bread delivers because bread is the king of all baits. Let's see what kind of fish this is. I really wonder what can I catch from here because mostly I've caught predator fish from here but it's a flat fish on a bread. Okay that is a first for me. Let's sell our fish and as you can see these fish are worth a lot. For example this bass is worth five bucks. Red gill 340. Pike is like six bucks. It's a lot of money just for four fish. That is nice to see and we can get some new baits I guess. Just get one of each and try to catch a fish with all of them once again. Fishing in the dark is pretty cool. You have your flashlight on all the time and it automatically turns on when the nighttime comes. But this is a green gill. 0.3 kilos and I caught it with fresh bread. Let's try with leeches again. This is probably the longest fight I've had in the game so far without me getting snagged off. So let's see what this is. It's a thick maw bass. 1.6 kilos. The previous one came in a bit easier I would say. But still a very nice fish and worth quite a bit of money. I'll be fighting with this fish for so so long. This has to be a big fish. If it's not a big fish, then what the heck game? Why have you made me fight with this fish for so long? It's 200 grams, a sharp-nosed minnow, and I fought with this fish for longer than I did fight with the pike and with the bass. All right, let's sell all of our fish and see how much money do we have. We should have 30 bucks then, and we can get ourselves a rod. Now, the question is, do we buy a dinosaur rod or do we buy the princess rod? They're both pretty cool, but I think I will take my side with the dinosaur rod. It's green. It has dinosaur in its name, so why not? Let's also equip the correct rod. Oh, I can see the reel already from the corner. It looks fairly cool. It doesn't look like a dinosaur though. It looks more like a rocket. I've been sitting here in the rain with my dinosaur rod and waiting for a bite, but actually nothing has happened on the leech. Oh, actually, no. Yep, just lost that. I switched my bait to mealworms instead of leeches. Hopefully we get something a bit smaller or weaker. Yeah, it seems like a weaker fish. We can get this one in a bit easier, but still. With leeches, you get like bass and stuff, I think, all the time, which means you will just get snapped off. This fish is slowly coming in. A sharp nosed minnow, 0.21 kilos. Pretty awesome. They're worth actually quite a bit of money, so I'm very happy with that. It seems that this rod actually has durability as well. I think it works in a way that if you catch a fish, it takes like one durability down off the whole total, but I guess we'll see. Okay, this fish is fast. It's extreme. Oh, I lost it. Let's try again. Another green gill, but this is not a PB. Sharp nosed minnow, also not a PB. The game said that I can actually cook fish and discover new tastes. So 
So let's try to cook one of these fish. I'm not sure what does it do. If you cook a fish, do you get like extra strength or do you run out of hunger? Not very sure about that, but let's see how we can cook this fish. I think, yeah, I need to switch which uh, bar is moving. So we have both of them at the same time in the green area. We should have perfectly cooked fish in a second. Let's hit it. Sweet, however, very bony. Okay, now what? Another tiny green gill. I'm going to sell this fish and buy some new baits. So we can get some more awesome fish and hopefully different species. So we still want to get to that 12 different species, which should be 10% of all of the species you can catch in this game. I don't know why, but I just keep catching green girl after green girl, even though I'm switching my baits out and everything. Leech power? Oh my, this thing is moving fast. It is moving. No, yeah, I lost it. Leeches are just too OP of a bait for me right now. I think I need to get like a super good rod to actually fish with leeches. I guess it's the same with mealworms. Just look at this bar going. It's insanely fast. I think my rod is not good enough for these baits. Yeah. Or maybe the dinosaur rod is actually weaker than the bamboo rod. It had more attractiveness to the fish, but it did not say anything about the strength. I think we can actually get this fish in. Finally. I've lost so many fish in between and lost all the expensive baits. But we got something now, and it's a new BB. A new sharp nose minnow BB. Awesome. So it seems like you can actually mark down the baits you've caught the fish on, like on the bottom over here. That is pretty cool. I actually really like that feature. That is very, very cool. Another a minnow. I really need to switch to bigger hooks. Only if I could. Let's sell these fish and buy some good baits. This time when I went fishing, I lost so many fish with the good baits that I actually lost money on this fishing trip. There it is. The original starting dock. I looked for this for so long, but I could not find it. Oh, there's actually a chart of biggest fish ever caught. That is very cool. Imagine if we could actually get into the list. That would be awesome. There's 101 listed and the biggest was 1.9 kilos. That's pretty nice. That is some very good fish. I found myself a small life Pack. I just cast a bit closer and it's so much easier to get the fish in. So let's see what kind of a fish this is. It's a duck eel. Almost half a kilo as well. That is very cool. I did not think I would catch eel here with dough balls. That is just odd. Let's see if we can get something on the worms. Fish on with the worms and this thing is moving rapidly. It's uh, having the zoomies. Just like Chubby in RF4. Hopefully I can still get it in. Yeah, it's a thick eel. Wow, what a name. Let's see, maybe we can get the Slim Shady next. My eyes are so focused on the bar right now. I do not want to lose this thing. It's so close to the shore already. No, I lost it. On leeches as well. Let's see. Maybe we can still catch something on the leeches. I really want to catch at least one more fish on the leech. I'm definitely gonna catch this fish. Let's see what this is. It's so close, so close. It's another thick eel. Pretty cool. And here we go. I've just caught an olive minnow, a new PB, and also my 12th different species in the game. So we ended up finishing our goal of having at least 10% of different species in the game, and also got ourselves a nice dinosaur rod. I I want to catch one more fish and then let's go sell all of these. Oh, another fast fish. Another zoomy guy. No, lost it. I will get this fish. I am again hyper focused. Come on, buddy. Just come here. Another thick eel. I think these guys are worth actually quite a bit of money, so I am not complaining. Let's see. How much are they worth? Also, look at these lamps. Super awesome. Wow, these eels are worth so much money. I do not think they would be worth that much money. This will actually recover me from my depth because as you can see, I only have 25 silver. Well, back Back to 42. As I said in the beginning of the episode, I need to capitalize on bread and I will get a thousand pieces of bread and then we can finish this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Bye bye.